Welcome to Ibridix. I'm back again and this time we are going to talk about very simple but very interesting topic. It can change the user interaction, user experience of your Power BI dashboard if you're gonna use this. I'm talking about the dynamic labels on your visuals. You can actually change dynamically your labels on your visuals. To do so, let's go with me to the practical part on the screen. I'm gonna show you how. Welcome to the practical part of the dynamic labels in Power BI. This is fantastic tool that you need to grasp in order to make an impression on your end user. Let's just remove the old files and I'm gonna show you what I wanna do here. You see is here we have very annoying uh, text is written here, the switch by year, quarter, month, and then and so on. But I we don't wanna see that. We don't wanna see that. We don't like that. What we're gonna see, it's not this. We just can write manually, and uh, uh, but it's not the case. What we're gonna do here to use this one, conditional formatting. But it's not that straightforward as you think. You need to create first a, s a, a new switch button. Uh, and I wanna, I wanna see, I wanna see if I'm gonna select uh, in all of these countries here, I wanna see it say it saying selected country, London, Paris, or whatever it is, right? Uh, so, for the sake of simplicity, we're gonna keep only for the city for this time, and then um, you can use it in the different uh, contexts for the different. Uh, purposes all right so first thing what you're gonna do is to create a new measure you're gonna create a new measure and call it city switch or whatever it is doesn't matter what you call it it's important what you do so it's gonna be the city switch just uh, for the convention when you create a new measure you make sure to add with the underscore because it makes it easier to find in your um, model city select city select or city switch or right what are you gonna do you're gonna use if statement logical statement if is filtered uh, we're gonna show where it's the the city is located the name of the table and the city if it's filtered I'm click and tap by the way in order to go um, with one click then we are gonna go then it says the result if uh, if true you're gonna concatenate you can do like this or you can use uh, the, the end uh, sign in order to concatenate it's gonna give you the same we're gonna use now the concatenate um, then we are gonna use the selected value no selected value um, we're gonna take the selected value in the CD so it's gonna show which value is selected in the CD um, and it's gonna show time series and well uh, let's stop here I don't want to go complicate uh, maybe in the next one I'm gonna add one more value in it and it's gonna be more customized it's more fancy right uh, or select it that's right the city selected and if it's not selected it's gonna say all cities are selected or no cities selected or total 
no CD selector. No CD is selected. Okay. Then we can close our if statement and click enter. Click go and now we're going to have the new measure here. What we're going to do, we're going to click on this as I showed you before, go to general title and click on this button and field value. If you click on the field value and you go to the customer and you go to city select, no city selected because we haven't selected any of cities. But if you click on the London, you can say London selected. If you click on, uh, what's that, bell, bell flower. Bellflower, Bellflower, right? The email. Bellflower is selected, right? So in this way you can have the dynamic labels on your text, uh, the title of, of title of your um, of your visualization, and you can customize it for a subquery, subcategories, or you can customize it for for whatever whatever uh, value is it, right? So hope it was useful for you. And uh, mm, if you have any questions, uh, you can leave on the, on the comments part, and uh, I will be more than happy to help you with it. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, leave comments and leave the likes and uh, support me with this, so I can create the new content and try to help you with your path to become a Power BI expert, Power BI.